Uh-huh. Relevant. And then, uh, but- it, also, I, I think, like, Shaker as a hero doesn't do too well against Huskar, especially when you're playing a, a non-core Shaker position, so you don't have that big burst of physical damage. It's an okay Huskar game, I think. The Cold Embrace counter was one thing, but typically when you're looking for Cold Embrace counters, the two go-tos I see more often, or the three go-tos, I guess, I guess there are many, but the, the one that come to mind immediately are OD, because you can build up a lot of int stacks off right. of a Cold Embrace target, and then Slark, you can build up a lot of Essence Shifts targets, or you can go to like any hero that built up stacks like Ursa Fury Swipes or Troll Warlord Fervor. Those are the more traditional counters. Huskar Burning Spears, yeah, kind of works, and you'll be able to damage them through the Cold Embrace, but it's still, like, Huskar also does not have the best range uh, until he gets that 25 talent, which, whoa, plus 100 range, that changes everything. I mean, but, he's he's got all the range he needs, he just jumps in, dude. 30 seconds. Yeah, as That's... long as the rest of the enemy team isn't like, oh, hey, it's a Huskar who gets countered by the rest of our team. Oh, LGD. What are, what are they going to do against Anti Mage as well? Because I was hoping that a carry would be able to do something against Anti Mage, but Huskar is not great at dealing with AM at all. Yeah, it seems like they're saying, okay, we're not going to beat you late. We're going to try to put a ton of pressure on the Anti Mage early. And Huskar is a hero that technically on paper will be doing that. Looks like we're going to see a little bit of late lane switch coming out here. Young Eleven will be going to the bottom lane against that tri lane. Meanwhile, FY playing that off lane puck. It's really going to have one of the toughest lane thrown at him. Huskar Lich. This is some uh, new age cancer right now. Yeah, that's brutal. Even a puck can't deal with that. Okay, I'm going to start the the lane on the mid position. Or the mid lane, rather. If you're going to force kills on Viper, this is the time to do it now. Before he gets that... Uh, the corrosive skin, so good amount of harass coming in against maybe, but he won't die or anything. FY though, oh my goodness. Yep. Goodbye. FY got his uh, two sh- share tango given to him, and he needs it. Meanwhile, bottom lane yeah. here, 11. Ooh, the fissure a little bit off the mark, but he's also having quite a bit of rough time. Yeah, I, they're very invested on, I guess, zoning out the puck, because Paparazzi is like, he doesn't even really care about farming right now, he just wants to make sure FY can't get anything initially. So, I'm thinking that maybe they're going to let Huskar and Lich just soak up a few levels, and then after that, they're going to give the lane to Legion Commander and start bullying the anti-mage instead, because you can't, you can't match the pace with an anti-mage in a tri-lane as a Huskar, you're going to lose at yeah. all stages of the game. Another way they could do it is once you give Paparazzi enough of a lead in the lane where he, let's say, have power threats, I think the Lich could just leave, right? Power threats with Huskar could just solo zone out a puck, and then the Lich could just go bottom and take away anti mage's experience and whatnot. Lich going for a bounty rune currently. And Viper, I think, has a lane matchup advantage against Ori here, as a first blood is missed. My apologies. Looks like it was a off a pretty good block, and they were able to just run down the uh, the LC. Yeah, she's. I mean, it's very difficult to stay alive as an LC here, but yeah. I wonder when maybe he's gonna start putting points in Crow. Okay, he just now does. Because, wow, he's Damn. been really aggressive on that Damn. Game now. Shaker. That's a kill. Pleasure. One more. Ghost Rout. No Ghost Rout available. There is a hasted uh, Earth Spirit, but he doesn't really commit for the kill. Alright, LGD. Winning at least two out of the three lanes. No points in Ghost Rout is a ballsy move. I mean, you, have, you, you think you have the advantage, but once Death Pulse is down, then... Oh. Hmm. That was an in- interesting move by FY. He orb in. I thought he was just orbing for harass, but then he jawed towards the other side. I think he would have been fine under the tower. Or maybe he thought he was going to die to the, the fiery spirit dot anyway, so. Went in for a little bit more. Now Wyverns come up to the top lane. Paparazzi doesn't really care at this point. Lich is left. Yep. And he's about to hit level 4 on this Huskar. So he's not really out leveling. 
too heavily to Puck because Puck is level 3 as well. But still, Burning Spear Harass is so irritating. Yeah, I don't think these two heroes actually do anything against Paparazzi, especially when he's got that early point to Inner Vitality. You can sit here and just tank the Harass and begin running at them whenever he feels like it. Rolling in, yeah. Oh, nice two men, Sun coming in. Lineup already going for that secondary kill. The fire, gonna get the first one done. FY does have orb available. He's actually gonna go for it. My goodness, a couple more right click. Magic stick gets used. Has the inner vitality. Uh oh, this is not a good sign for LGD. FY, juking the trees right now. Has phase available. He does get off the phase and get off the kill. FY, not messing with them. Still juking. He's got the orb. Goes through the other direction. FY, still alive. People are wondering whether he could play the offlane position. Yes, he can. He's taking a lot of damage from these creeps. Can't get off the aggro. What a block from Victoria. And FY just juking and kiting. Gets off two kills. Alright. Meanwhile, Lich All also right. dies to the bottom side. Okay. Yeah, Anti-Mage has been quietly zoning out the other two heroes. There's no way a Puck should do that much, right? No, not not unless we got them patented phase boots up and running. With just a null talisman, no, I definitely don't expect a puck to do that much at level four or level yeah. three. It was level three before that fight. Yeah, he was just like juking and jiving, using that orb, using the the phase. Mid lane here, oh, mid -lane. Viper gets rolled on. Don't have his uh, ultimate just yet, but does have the infused raindrops. And looks like he's gonna pop a shrine with a couple of allies. Things are going very well for LGD, and even before that puck like shenanigan took place, because that was just a bonus. Because so far the Huskar lane has not been as dominant as it should have been, at least given the lane setup that they had. Because if they wanted Huskar to just farm, then they could have sent him against the anti mage, and you would have been just fine there. Burning spears doesn't cost any mana; it costs HP. Yeah, I think they really wanted the Huskar to get off a good lane, and he is doing quite okay in the CS department. But Viper is just really ahead. Meanwhile, Lanham, looking to escape here, is on a cliff, but... Do they know? It seems like they do know. Yeah, FY is giving vision. Yeah, he is. But they can't reach him. I mean, they have another orb in a second. There we go. Oh. Hey. He has a roll. Uh, they have Fissure oh. the whole time. Victoria yeah. want yeah, Victoria wanted to give the kill to the carry. But then Always right. gotta secure it. And plus freaking roll has like a long animation. Usually you can cancel it. But they did have vision, right? So No, he definitely had vision. I was on I was on dire vision specifically just to see when they didn't and, and he saw him rolling. Okay. Oh. Victoria. Maybe I'm spoiled by dogfights. Big plays yesterday as now Arctic Burn on the bot lane. Yep, that is gonna be another kill. Victoria on a killing spree. Missing out that one kill, but immediately answering right back. I mean, Viper is up by like, you know, almost 20 CS, like 15 CS over the uh, mid laner. Anti Mage is farming amazingly. And even this puck is getting into action. I, I don't know about this draft from Vichy. It, it just might look like an early GG. Yeah, because your saving grace typically is like, oh, well, at least my core is farming, but your core is a Huskar. And I don't know at what point, if any point, as now... Oh, okay, well, I guess that helps. Yeah, great initiation from Lanham. Rolled in, got off the silence to begin with, and then follow up with the kick. And then the Fire Spirit DPS. Fissure coming on the mid lane here, Necrofoss in the trees. Frost Armor applied already. And Yao, waiting patiently. Looking to fly in. They have another Fissure in 5 seconds. But this tower is going down. Viper has maxed out Nether Toxin, so it's quite a bit. Bottom lane One making a go. On LC. Very, very low, but here comes Paparazzi. Ooh, looking for the jump. Not gonna find it. Passes the inner vitality to the uh, his ally. And FY is behind enemy lines. Does have the face boot again. We've been seeing a lot of face boot pucks. Uh oh. Yeah, but no orb of venom this time. <laughs> Whoo! Bounce out. Yeah, I guess Soul Ring is just the thing now because he also has this mango. So. Uh, it's the offlane build, I suppose. Someone had said that this is like a thing that was picking up momentum in FPL games recently. It's just 
more and more soul rings on Puck. And it's a fine item, because more often than not, like, Puck isn't really worried about getting to low HP, and once you get that Veil, your HP regen is pretty solid that you don't need to concern yourself with losing HP, but yeah, it's uh, definitely picking up steam. Meanwhile, the Viper pick on the mid lane definitely coming in handy. Over 30 CS advantage on Necro. Tower advantage as well. If this was an open AI game, you know, it's already victory. For Somnus. <laughs> Did God help us when OpenAI comes up with a Viper bot? That's like, in, Shadowfiend bot is like intentionally gimping itself, but a Viper bot is just disgusting. Yeah, it really is. It's not much you could do. Paparazzi trying to jungle up. Does, does have the armlet already finished? But I think he's looking to have at least uh, the Halberg before he could actually lead the team to push. At least against, you know, a couple of heroes defending behind it. Well, let's see if he gets the time to farm it, as there's a smoke up by LGD. They see Ori, they have a fissure to start it off. TP out. Any way to cancel that TP? No, Victoria. Ooh. I think the fissure kind of blocked his own path to walk to yeah, in. he couldn't go in that way, he had to go around. FY, uh oh. Ooh, nice phase, but the kick is gonna get him. Is he gonna jump towards it? Yes, he is. The jump is available and the jump is coming in. FY, nice phase, biding a little bit of time. They got the heal. And Paparazzi, he's gonna not apply the fire because he's under the tower. Now, in fact, he might be going down. FY going right back in. He's got the phase. He's got double phase, rather. And now, Lanham's gonna go down as well. FY just baiting the Jesus out of them. <laughs> Yeah, even with more points and spears, like, that's what I'm saying, like, Winter Wyvern, Cold Embrace is a lot of heal. Even though you can keep stacking it up, either the target was, like, guaranteed dead to begin with, with or without the Cold Embrace, or you completely lost your kill potential because the Wyvern rotated. Very rarely is Husker comfortable just, like, pouring spears into a target. Oh, I guess uh, saving grace here if you're Vichy is that Ame is not exactly having the best timing on his Battle Fury. In fact, he's now thinking about going back to power threats. But honestly, his team is doing so well that he doesn't need to have a good Battle Fury timing. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned about that. Especially because they're gaining a lot of map control as well, so Anti-Mage doesn't need to feel too nervous whenever he's farming underneath his jungle. They've taken the mid-tier one. LGD now finishes off the bottom tier 1, and that's a lot of room for an anti-mage to feel safe farming. Yeah, meanwhile, FY just nuking out this wave on the mid lane. He's got that soul ring, so mana is not an issue. And all he needs to really do is slow down this push. And there you go. That's the whole wave did. And meanwhile, it's actually Viper just pushing bottom. Cold Brace on the creep, tanking it up. I don't know. This is, uh... Vichy needs to do something really fast. Great ward, I think he has spotted out a smoke. Coming out from Vichy. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if that one did. I think they smoked like in the mid lane-ish area, but they're going in, but TP's already done. Alright. Despite having a Huskar. Right now Vichy is down two tower. And then, five kills and 4k net worth. Yeah. Questionable draft. Puck buys. I, mean, I do love a I do love a pocket huskar every once in a while, but there's a time and a place for it, and I'm still struggling to see what Vichy Gaming were going for. Aside from their Lich Huskar lane, but you don't need a Huskar for that. Like Lich by himself plus anything usually wins a land. Maybe it's unfair to kind of blame it on the Huskar. Like Huskar was the only one that won his lane. The rest of the team just struggled on the mid and, and safe lane, respectively, so... Yeah, I see, uh, that is true, but... Look, like, Anti-Mage isn't doing that great either, and so if you had a core that is more useful than Huskar in, like, a 13-minute phase against this enemy LGD team, then... Oh, roll in. Well, yeah. Lanham, I don't know about that one. Lanham's yeah, gonna just like, be dead. No. He's getting some heal here, but he just dies. That Fisher even blocks off the Huskar. In fact, maybe doesn't even care. Maybe wants to actually fight this. They have a coil available if they want to use it right here. Coil only hits one. 
And Paparazzi breaks a coil, does have the heal from Young Eleven. But he'll be fine, but hey, Anti-Mage now is playing catch-up. And they have to stay and defend this. The tower is really low HP. Viper has this Dragon Lance, and Nether Toxin is so effective against towers even with this Frost Armor. Oh, okay. Wow, nice Don't think LGE really cares. All they want to do is make space on the map, apply some pressure on Vichy, and Anti Mage will eventually carry this. Actually, I think he will get his like 15 16 minute Battle Fairy, despite how bad the game uh, has been for him. Fenrir gonna get healed up. Dude, you love this as a carry player. You love all this space creation. Oh, for sure. Oh, he's not even oh, taking the, the health talent. He's not even worried, dude. Taking he shouldn't be worried. 20 damage. And just watch anti-mage farm. It's soothing. It, it's very zen. And power treads is a, it's like an underrated item as a stopgap. Like a lot of times I'll see Vlad's anti-mage oh. as like a stopgap as a roll on the top lane, silence. Yeah, they have Winter's Curse, could use it right here, right now if they want to. They blow up Lanham. Paparazzi getting focused down by Viper. He talked about the counter and that's pretty much all it is. On the left side, o 11s on the run. Lich is gonna get pounded out. Oh, okay. Chain Frost is doing some work. Ori comes in, trying to clean up this fight. They still have Winter's Curse. Yeah. Well, they won't use it. And now Anti-Mage. Oh, if you burn a couple of it, his mana. Ooh, Ghost Shroud keeping his life up a little bit. FY just hanging around, messing with them. Faces to heal, of course. Nice mana Void is available. Big Mana Void! Lanham comes in and takes some of that damage. Okay, the heal on Victoria. I think Victoria will still die, but Ame? Ooh, everyone pointing out Victoria? It's gonna make it home, and now the curse! <laughs> gonna take him down, Yao. On a double kill. Who isn't playing well in LGD right now? It seems like everybody's playing well. Everyone's playing well, but FY is playing exceptionally well. So that, so in that kill attempt on the Necro, he used his illusory orb to get damage, and then he orbed onto this cliff, which they don't have any ward there. So he was providing high ground vision just in case any Vici gaming members rotated in from the shrine, which Earth Spirit did. And I imagine it's that vision that Puck was providing that allowed them to survive that magnetize. Well, if you're Vichy Gaming, you only got one choice, which is to go, right? You have a, you have a Huskar, so... They're gonna bang their head on this... Take a tier one. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Wyvern promptly TPs out after tossing a parting Splinter Blast, and Paparazzi's pretty low. It's very... You, you don't really know what to do as a Huskar in this situation, because you don't want to heal, because then you lose a lot of damage. But at the same time, you don't want to stay low, because if Viper randomly shows up, you're going to die in like two attacks. Yeah. Also, Winter's Curse is available. So hasn't used it in the last team fight. Yeah. They're working on this tier 2 right now. Meanwhile, Puck pressuring the tier 2. In fact, Puck might actually get this tier 2 around the same time that Vichy gets it. And that would be a big, big victory for LGD. Puck already has his goal for the Blink Dagger. And Shaker already has Blink Dagger completed. He's smoked up, looking for his opening. Oh, they're pinging out Paparazzi. They want him dead. Fissure to start things off. Echo Slam? No, nope, not even necessary. Chain Frost. Pharaoh runs to throw it. Now force that forward, maybe. Ooh, nice dodge here from Young Eleven. And that should be a good retreat. Victoria does have one more Blink Fissure available. I think they're going to get Finroar here. Bonk. Run. He's scooting. Run, Lich. He's scooting away. Oh, no. That long range attack. This Lich is fast. Okay. Juking through the trees. Oh. Fenrir making a play. Oh. Enchant Totem. Oh, they have vision on him. Oh! Ah. He's out. Yeah. That was a speedy little Lich. Yeah. He didn't even have his Tranquil Boots completed. Just but, that I mean, base. Still, like, you're seeing the issue with Viper versus Tuska right now. There's no reason why your carry should die like that, but when it's this kind of matchup, you can't really be surprised. There's really long range initiation from the Earthshaker, who didn't even blink him. They, all they did was commit a fissure, and yep. LC thought that they would have enough, but when you're at like 20% HP to begin with, you don't really have much time to keep a Huskar alive. 
That was the issue that you you painted out, right? If you stay too low, you just you just get pwned. Right. And if you have too high of an HP, then you don't push quickly enough. O11 looking for his for first duel, and of course first duel victory. I think Wyvern is the target you really want to go for, but look at Yao's positioning. He's just relatively safe. Viper in the front line here, and they're gonna burn down. Oh, yep, that's gonna be another dead Huskar. Moving forward, maybe gets a lich before the chain frost comes out, or he does get the one kill. Land him in a lot of trouble. They do get the puck kill, or you looking to pour it out. They have curse. They will cancel the TP. And Ori, I don't know about this one. Ame comes in standard anti mage, team fight uh, corporate cooperation, mana void. Bang! There you go. That was the word I was looking for. Typical. Anti-mage team fight contribution. That is the meme. That is the meme, yeah. and it's a meme for a reason, because that's all you need to do. You have your mid player make an ocean of space for you for the first 17 minutes or so, and then you're like, hey, guess I, what? The I enemy just carry is directly countered by you. Yeah. For those that are new to Dota, this game is effectively over. Would yeah. you disagree? Or are no, we supposed it's... to be that uh, non-caster biased? Oh, what can Vichy Gaming do here? I'll, I would do that if this series were more important, but right now it's... They could hit the it's... GG button. That's what they could do. Yeah. Well, they can go for Roche. Okay. So that's optimistic. They can also get scanned out promptly by LGD. Now, yesterday we did see a team, like, in the lead really, really hard. And then they threw it up, so... Maybe? But they had teamfight ultimates, they had Ravage and stuff like that. This this team does not have any big ultimates like that. They have Chain Frost and that's about it. Well, Vichy Gaming not gonna get this Roche either. Paparazzi's gonna go right back in though. Trying to force Yow something has to happen. Curse, and they're all so clumped. If, if Puck gets a good Dream Coil, then you have all the time in the world to land a perfect curse. Alright, a little bit of D Ward. Jostling for map control here. And meanwhile, Anti Mage says, Yeah, you guys do you. I'm gonna finish my Manta style. Good stuff. Went for the blink cooldown. I like it. Oh, he went for the mega farming, right? Like blink cooldown, Damn the damage. Right. The pure greed. Oh, it's, yeah, he's not even worried about the Roche fight. Just straight up ports to the bottom. <laughs> That's actually pretty ballsy. Yeah. I respect that play. It the, the confusing thing is that the bot tier 2 is already taken, but I guess if he goes all the way to the top tier 2, he might get rotated by... I mean, he the saw the chains, creep so. wave with like 6 range creeps. He's in there. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot of experience. Paparazzi. Just being slowed down, being bashed by Roche as well. Oh, Venver goes for the warding. All of the sentries being de-warded. Viper just sits in the front. Defensive force staff is gonna be there. Looks like anti mage is looking to join this fight. He's got that one second blink CD, remember? Lanham, gonna go down to the Viper. Viper is not even worried at all. Anti mage wanted to go to the Ancients, that's what he wanted to do. LGD is winning this game 4v5, and Ame is just the insurance plan. <laughs> Alright, Paparazzi goes right back in. And LGD don't need to take Roche themselves. All they have to do is <laughs> not give Roche to Paparazzi. They are strangled right now. There's n there's like no right answer because if you go push, then LGD is going to push faster than you with an anti mage and a viper. If you go team fight, you're also going to lose because right now LGD have items that are much better for initiating team fights. They've got the blink dagger on the shaker. They've got now the blink dagger on the puck. They've got the manta style on the anti mage who may actually want to know their mind. So farming mid lane. Well, LC. He might end this game without a single duel victory. Feels bad, man. Has he even duel period? I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, this he time there will all be losses. We're we're gonna see the rush, and uh, it's gonna go to LG. Nice orb here by Fy scouting it up. Paparazzi just want to run in, but I don't know. Coil happening on the back line here. Row in here, but he's just stuck. Viper takes up the Aegis. Fissure's gonna grab two. They can curse. Nice Echo Slam's gonna be great here. Oh, Chain Frost doing a little bit of work. The Ancient's taking some of that damage, maybe, on the front line. Tanking pretty much everything. Puck comes in. 
And alright, Paparazzi is hitting relatively hard here, but once Viper comes alive, he should be able to clean up Paparazzi. And there you go. Lanham on the run as well. He'll make it out of there. He'll survive. Right, anti mage is still a threat. You know that Not team. A bad fight, though. Yeah, that team fight was actually pretty good for Vichy. They traded three for four, got the Aegis off of the Viper as well. And was there a Drew du a duo duo of that? No. Nope. Shield's bad. Oh, a young eleven is on babysitting duty. He finds a target to press the attack on. I don't. I don't. I think he's ca he's casted more press the attacks on allies than he has on himself. I mean, it was a, it was a not bad fight, but Vici lost both their cores, and LGD technically did not lose either Viper or Anti Mage. So still not great, but it's signs of life, as people like to say in the biz. <laughs> in the biz, but it's grim. I don't know. Uh, Viper just finished BKB, so oh, any chance of killing him is, I think, now gone. Anti Mage has Mad Style and is going for Ags. Is this a good axe game? I don't think it is. No, in fact... It's a terrible no, axe game, not. right? Yeah. I mean, the, the main thing, so there are, there are like three hard scenarios in which you don't build uh, anti-mage axe. I can't remember the third one, but one of them is Legion Commander Duel, because you'll reflect it, and then you'll end up dueling Legion Commander anyway. Yeah. The second one is Nyx Assassin, because if you... Uh, if he activates Carapace and then mana burns you, you're going to reflect that mana burn and you're going to eat that Carapace. And then there's one other scenario that I can't remember, but... Is it the Huskar jump? So you could jump right back in? Oh yeah, I have, I have actually heard that before. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it. But here's the thing, he's so far ahead that I don't think he minds getting dueled or jumped. Okay, the first blink duel, and now they're gonna try to burst him down. Oh no, this is not gonna be the clay! The curse is gonna be there, Lanham's gonna go down, the BKB gets activated, and now Somnus is going to work. Victoria blinks into a chain for us. Paparazzi, I think he will be the first one to go down. Yes, he will. On the back line, though, Ori will get a Reaper Scythe kill, and he's still alive. In the front line, though, maybe has not even moved an inch. He's just standing his ground, killing pretty much everything. Ame blinks in, standard anti mage contribution. Ultra kill on maybe. I just told it to you and you still botched it. Typical anti mage team fight contribution. Standard anti mage contribution works, right? No, god damn it, that's not it. Is it because it's the meme phrase? I have to say the exact same phrase? Yeah, okay. you have to stay it true to form. Otherwise, right. it's like some interpretation of it that's not the true thing. Well, you know. I don't appreciate your loomy co corruptions. I mean, I'm a man from China and uh, lost in translation or something like that. I guess so, sure. Yeah. Anti Mage has the Ag Scepter for them stats. Clearly for them stats. Is there anything cute that he can reflect aside? So we said the. Uh, I guess Scythe he can technically block. Chain Frost? That would be pretty Wait. sweet. Imagine he gets yeah, that Ultra Kill Frost. with uh, Chain Frost, you know? That would be juicy. That would totally make me. I don't, Scepter I don't know why we. Would... The problem is there. I guess I guess the only cheap thing that he can use to um, that that Vici Gaming can use to get rid of the spell shield is Lich's Frost Blast. Okay. But aside from that, pretty much everything else is valuable in terms of single target. You don't really want to have to spend your Heaven's Halberd to pop it, especially because then you'll get halberded. You don't want to have to spend Life Break. You don't want to have to spend Scythe, and you don't really want to have to spend Duel. So it's basically just protecting him from Scythe, and Frost Blast is the only thing that can pop it off. Yeah, I mean, I think we're maybe thinking about too much of the re reflection part. The fact that he just blocks it is already, like, pretty decent. Yeah, but then the question is, why not go for Lincolns? For them stats, dude. Lincolns give stats. <laughs> Lincolns <laughs> arguably yeah. gives better stats. It does, and it gives you regen, too, which allows you to kind of blink yeah. without fear at and, all. So. And he gives 30 damage. How much does Aghanim Scepter give? He gives 10 damage. You want me to give, on, you want me to give you Ame's uh, speed dial so you could ask him? I would like that. I would like that very much. You're gonna have to translate, but I'll get mad at him. I'm gonna ask him about the standard. You let your team carry him. I'm you gonna should. standard anti mage contributions. You know what do you think is about? Right now he's quietly waiting. He's taking a page out of H Y High High's book. Jimmy Ho, dude. 
Jimmy Ho is the original king of the forest. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I know no, I know we're talking about anti mage a lot, but maybe it's a true carry, let's be real for a second. Yeah, he is. As he proceeds to go face first. Okay, Ooh, and they... doesn't even bother activating BKB. Nice duel here. Winter Wyvern's gone. He activates the BKB and sits around for a second. Not exactly sure who he wants to focus. He's in a very awkward spot. Ame though lurking on the back line. I think he has accepted his fate. And he's dead. That was a questionable team fight from uh, LGD. I don't know why Viper didn't activate his BKB immediately. Like, he, he rolled in and was like, oh hey, you got five heroes next to your shrine. And then he just walked back. Yeah. But there's a lot of initiation power on Vici Gaming now. There wasn't for the first 20 or so minutes. But now you've got Blink Daggers up and running. Did he have a TP? On Liege Commander and Necro. I think he, he could have uh, BKB TP'd out of that. Yeah. I... Because I think both Duel and Chain Frost was used at the That's true. beginning half the fight, so... Wow, but Chain Frost is no longer stun, so that is not relevant. Right. But Duel and Scythe were both down, yep. if that's what you meant. That's exactly what I meant. Of course. Oh, Blink Duel, okay. Eleven's actually making things happen despite his poor start. That was a solo dual victory with only plus 14 damage. Previous uh, seconds on Blink Dagger. He's out. Damn. He's out. Is he? He's out. He's out. Okay, I think Ame needs to kind of join his team now. Yeah. He had his fun. He 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 went to college and oh. now he has to come oh. back home and do the family job. You feel me? I feel you. Alright then. Call him up then. <laughs> Call him up. Well, he's about yeah, to get call called him. up by the whole... whole Vici squad. And they want to do walk around. They want the Shaker instead. They understand that can't kill the anti mate. Shaker joins, or anti mate joins in. Easy duel? Who does he want? He wants the core. Well... Well... BKB. Let's him scepter so none of them can take damage! Oh, maybe that was the play and now he kills everybody! Is that the true counter? Dude, is that- well, I mean, like, no matter what, it will always be an Aghanim scepter... Uh, oh, no Enchant Totem? Oh! An Enchant Totem! They got him. Ripper Scythe? Ooh. Glimmer Cape, though. It did get the kill still. Well, not the actual yeah, Scythe kill. not underneath the Scythe, yeah. But. They got the kill on him. Well, I think the I guess that's the play. I guess I guess the reflected it, it used to be a thing, but then Aghanim Scepter on Legion Commander got changed, and everyone was like, "This is a bad Aghanim Scepter upgrade for Legion Commander." Still, but the secret was that it was actually a buff to Anti Mage. We're learning a lot today. It worked out. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And uh, what was the phrase? Uh, come back home from college. And that's correct. Contributing to the family. Yeah, the family business, yeah. which is kicking ass and taking names. Is that the family business? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm pretty sure. Sixteen. Pretty sure Anti Mage's dad was Radiance like an expert attack. farmer. You know, <laughs> the guy who invented breed crop rotations and shit. Oh, yeah. I like that. So he's a. Uh... What was the RTC meme? He's a potato farmer or something like that. that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Artur Babayevsky. Yeah. You have to go and farm potato. To something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's some farming potatoes or something like that. All right, anti mage flying out another item. Nope, that is not anti mage's item. That's Fy's Lincoln's. This anti mage is exceptionally protected. I don't know why the game is still going on, but I'm 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 liking where it's going just because I'm, I'm <laughs> I want to see how big this anti mage can get. Well, you can make an argument that he's already hit his peak, right? Sure, he could itemize a little bit more with the butterfly, but I think this is You're about E blade actually. Okay, that's what I'm saying. He's this man is stepping off the beaten path. What does E blade do for you? Uh, I think he mainly just wants it as a disarm for Oscar. 
Okay. Oh, oh, 11. Ooh. Links out the fish Ooh. or everything how does, misses. How does he get out of this? He's what? got four staff. There's maybe. a pike. Maybe There's four a staff. Viper. There's there no you way. Go. What? What the? F Is he lagging? <laughs> Seems like he's lagging a bit. Brain lagging. <laughs> All right, they're gonna throw everything on him. And he did. Meanwhile, Ame is quietly hunting his earth spirit. Oh, abyssal blade. Chop, 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 chop. Alright. At what point do Vichy Gaming GG out? This is a straight linear, linear curve on the net worth. Like, I see a little bit of a dip here and again, but it's pretty downhill from minute one. You feel me? I feel you. Okay, then. I got nothing to add. Alright. Well, they need to add an Aegis and the cheese to their inventory, and now, perhaps at 34 minutes, the first racks could be taken. Oh, blink, in, F fly, no. Nah, Anti-mage need to protect the that tier 1, so... He's out for a bit. Oh, there must have been a lot of range creeps down there. He is level 25. He's been 25 for like the past 5 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what is the XP? I've been, I've been on freaking last hits this entire time. That's why I'm not the main guy. Let's see, where, where is... Uh, XPM? 786. Pretty respectable. Alright, Ethereal Blade is online. Oh, now this is the build. This is the quick buy that I like to see on an anti-mage. I think he's just uh, feeling himself a little bit. You feel me? I feel you. Shotgun, Dagon, Shotgun Manaboy. AM? Yeah. Hell yeah. Something about Hell yeah. he hates magic or something. Do the Ethereal stack, like if he's Ghost Shrouded and Veiled, and e-bladed does necro just like implode with magic damage i think the ghost route does not stack with the uh shotgun but veil sure? obviously helps it's it's all ethereal right i don't yeah, think there are different forms of saying, ethereal. Like, right oh what a block huskar is boned no oh, glimmer cape he's got a satanic no detection. So. He can fight his way out. Yeah, but you want to use it right now. Oh, there you go. There's that satanic. On some creeps. Let's steal off those creeps. Yep. He's alive. I'm just gonna say a butterfly on Anti Mage might be a little bit better, but hey, style. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. My thanks. I think what he needs is a refresher orb. Mine. Dude, this man refuses to push. There's three range creeps, stop. Oh my god, you're right. And a siege creep. Yeah, there you go. You just wait for 40 minutes and then we get dual siege creeps. Gotta call up my boy Fogged. Why Fogged? It's a meme that Fogged always likes pointing out that dual siege creeps have spawned. Oh, I see. Yeah. You need to call your boy BSJ. Cause isn't he the LGD Ame fan? That's true. I, I yeah. heard I heard that. Oh, well. nice kick, kick in here, in but he's zone. got he's got Aegis, so he should be fine. They do win the duel, they do kill him down, and the rest of the team will will be fine, I guess. Ame blinks in from the north side. They're gonna try to go on Viper again. Viper is silenced, activates the BKB, goes around Paparazzi. Nice fissure over the satanic Paparazzi. Trying to walk back, he's being controlled really hard right now. Anti-Mage blinks in, does absolutely nothing. And now Ori with the Reaper Scythe. LGD are perhaps throwing this game pretty hard. It's gonna be Vichy Gaming walking out, looking for something. Duel is still on cooldown, Anti-Mage. On the left side. And now the rest of the team is on the retreat. Yao is gonna get stunned up. What is happening right now? Anti-Mage has creeps to farm. Do you see how many range creeps are top right now? Alright. That was so, an Aegis push. Yeah. The know. interaction between Duel and Winter's Curse is that Duel always takes priority. Right. Because normally you see five enemy heroes all clumped up like that, and you're like, oh, dude, 
I should totally curse them, and they will all kill a target. But the best person to curse is the Legion Commander, and she will not be damaged by anyone else, including the Anti-Mage. And so, sometimes as a Wyvern, in those situations, you don't really know what to curse, but then Wyvern didn't curse anything, even after Viper came back to life. That and was very good initiation, though, from the Earth Spirit, kicking him over the fissure. Yes, that's true, it was. All right, 38 minutes in, Vichy takes down the mid tower with that Huskar. Should we begin to worry about LGD? Especially no, on these, okay. Yet. Well, LGD Ame has changed out his- uh... Yeah, if Ame was still going for a meme build, then I'd be like, mm, might yeah. need to start getting concerned going Dagon against a Huskar. But he no, he has the BKB. wisened up. Yeah, he, he uh, disassembled his E-Blade, it was just for giggles. Although this may not be for giggles. Oh, okay. oh gems on the deck. Gem, uh, you could drop treads. Oh. Oh. oh, whoa, 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 this is... Okay, Fissure is available to help him out, that is going to be another kill. And now it's going to be Young Eleven trying to run to get the first hit bash. Flame Mail is activated, body block coming out from Victoria. Juking left and right, can he blink out? No. Another hit of bash, triple kill on Nami. And this should be all they wrote. I told you, the family business. Viper will just like, Well, son, I, I give you now my inheritance. I'm gonna die now, and you're gonna win the game, because I've given you all the resources necessary. And Ame was like, Thanks, Dad. GG. If I could choose my dad, I do not want Viper as my dad. What are you talking about? He's so protective. He'll always keep an eye on you. Several eyes. I think Viper has like multiple eyes. Does he? I think I he just has so. two. He's wearing a hat right now, so I can't see. Alright. Alright. I am disappointed that there was no anti mage shotgun. But. You, you were casting doubts on it, and Ame heard that, and he was yeah. just like, alright, fine. I had him on speed dial, right? Ori Good blinks boss. in, and so does Anti-Mage. Alright, there's a little bit of fighting action going on here. And now, Anti-Mage taking a lot of that damage, but he's just man-fighting. Loses the man-fight, but good old Dad Viper. Uh, gonna finish the job. <laughs> Fenrir on the right side, okay, nice Glimmer Cape, keeping himself alive. Pop Rossi goes in, Gigi's already called, Cheese gets consumed, Anti-Mage back in the fight right now. Woo, huge Echo Slam. Or rather, Mana Void. And LGD wins this game with a 37k net worth advantage, winning every single metric. How do you think FY played, apart from his like early game heroics?